Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Remain and today we're going to be talking about Days of Our Lives. We're going to be talking about the November Suites preview. But first, if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button so you two know it's a good video for soap fans. And if you aren't a member, go ahead and become a member so you can get news, information, and recipes um, in advance. Uh, plus, you have already seen this video because this video went to the members first. So we're going to talk about the November Suites preview, beginning with John and Marlena. Some of the things have, some be, the November Suites preview came out late. It should have came out a week ago. So some of the things that it's going to mention is already happening on the show. It's like this: Marlena, uh, Mark Devil is unleashed. John gets onto her pretty quickly, and she chains him up in a Demir crypt. November is really like the last temptation of John Black. The devil is trying to break him down and corrupt his soul, and you'll see exactly how the devil goes about that. It's a great test of John and Marlena's love, and it's a great test of John in general with some great callbacks to the original story. Now, I'm going to hit a pause button real quick and say, there are a lot of kidnappings on, on uh, Days of Our Lives, and... A lot of the people who usually get kidnapped are usually John and Marlena and Kate. Like, they just all take turns getting kidnapped. And although it was Marlena's turn, well, I'm going to say it was Marlena's turn to get kidnapped this time. Because last time, Orpheus had John kidnapped. But then, the devil did hijack her body. So technically, Marlena is kidnapped. So it's back to being John's turn to being kidnapped. But the one thing that... They never explain to us on whether it's the Demir Crypt or the Demir Wine Cellar. Where the bathroom at? <laughs> Where's the bathroom at? So, John has been kept for how long? And he had to uh, take a number one or a number two? I mean, is the Demir Crypt not smelling like who done it and why at this point? And seeing that Marlena is still possessed in 2022 because she's possessed Christmas time and it looks like she won't be get her exorcism until February. How long is John going to be chained up there without a bathroom? Did she give him a diaper? Did she just not care? I, how does this work? I, I'm just curious. Paulina and Abe as we're building towards the wedding, we have Paulina trying to decide if she can go ahead with this giant secret about Lonnie. And we complicate that by having Marlena, the actual devil, performing the ceremony. The audience is waiting for the secret to come out, and it's time for it to come out. The question of how exactly does it happen, and what's the fallout? Yeah, they, they telegraphed this back with Marlena. Mar uh, Marla Gibbs was on the show. Uh, yeah, John getting shot, there were people who thought that he was, I mean, Abe getting shot, people thought that he was going to find out in the hospital, Lonnie's blood wasn't going to match, or, no, it was always going to be about the wedding. Uh, Steve and Kayla, John has vanished and Marlena has told everyone that John is out of town on a case. Since Steve is his partner, that sort of raises Steve's antenna right away. Steve smells a rat. So while John is chained up and going through his ordeal, we have on the other side, Steve, and to some extent Kayla, trying to figure out what happened to John. So Steve's on the case. Ben and Sierra. Miraculously, Sierra's pregnant. I don't understand why it's miraculous, miraculously Sierra pregnant. That's the way it's written. Um... All they do is screw. She got her memory back and gave him some. So that's how babies are made. <laughs> that's been his ear's whole storyline. Kissing and screwing. Uh, <laughs> that, that's it. Uh, so yeah, Ben and Sierra are overjoyed. And then Susan shows up and senses that there's some kind of danger around the baby. So that she starts to get the ball rolling like... Well, what exactly is it that, um, is it, do they believe Susan? So, um, let me see, can we count the months? Uh, 
October, November, December, January, February. Well, that's only five months. So I was going to say, you know, you know, Rosemary's baby's coming, but um, it should be fun. Whatever it is, it should be fun. You have some business here, some to do other than screw. Uh, Susan, we know that Susan adores Dr. Marlena Evans and goes to Marlena to say, I sense evil around the baby. We've got to do something. And Susan just starts to sense that Marlene is not acting like her bestie. So that, of course, puts Susan right in the devil's crosshair. Is not a place you want to be. Doug and Julie. As we get into November and the holidays are approaching, Julie is missing Doug more and more and doesn't understand the visitor band. She finally takes matters into her own hands. Um, I don't know how old that is. But we've already seen her try to do that with Eli's help. Nicole and Rafe, they give in to their feelings for each other and sleep together and instantly feel guilt. Nicole immediately says, it was a big giant mistake. You're with Ava. You know what that means. Uh, what's the best word to, 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 to say this with? Um, uh, the banana wasn't good. The eggplant didn't meet the standards of Nicole's um, peaches and cream. <laughs> because if a woman <laughs> does the deed with you, and her first words is "this was a mistake," it didn't meet it, it didn't meet up to her expectations. So, I guess it's a good thing Eric's coming back to town. <laughs> She's like, oh, now that I've had it, um, go back to Ava. We're good. <laughs> uh, so she says, it was a giant mistake. You're with Ava. I can't be a home wrecker. <laughs> oh, Nicole, you were born to be a home wrecker. So she pushes Rafe back towards Ava and then she throws herself into something with EJ till Eric comes. But that secret is there bubbling under the surface. Now the reason why, it doesn't say this, but I shared this with the, the uh, members. Um, an article came out explaining the whole thing that Rafe finds Carmine's body on his floor. He assumes Ava has something to do with it. Calls Eli and gets Ava arrested. So he thinks that him and Ava are done and because she's going to jail. But she didn't do it. So so when she eventually gets out, because she's only been taken in for questioning. So when she eventually gets out and he discovers, well, she didn't do it, um, he's going to feel just as guilty as Nicole, but he going to want some more of, of Nicole. But... Nicole's going to be like, mm, 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 we good. <laughs> Here's your bear back. <laughs> they probably were a bear back. Maybe Rafe will finally get that kid he's always wanted. Sammy. We've all been wondering where Sammy is the answer is somewhere in Canada filming a Hallmark movie. That's actually what's written. Um, but Sammy's been kidnapped, we you know this. So we will see Captive Sammy managing to say, I've been kidnapped. I don't want to say too much about who, who she calls and what happens when she does. Now, if she's dumb enough to call EJ and not Lucas, um, I can see EJ leaving her right where she is. Mm-hmm. Mm yeah. Uh, Brady, Chloe, and Philip. Philip senses, perhaps rightly so, whatever's going on between Brady and Chloe, which is a, a sad thing that he can't believe and trust, is that he has, in a way, he's. Oh, good lord, who wrote this? Um, anyway, he's sabotaging their relationship because he feels like Chloe and Brady are doing something, but uh, it's innocent. Um, but it escalates to Philip as he becomes more fixated and more paranoid about what's going on between Brady and Chloe. I don't like Philip, but I feel sorry for Philip. 
I've been in the same exact situation where I knew I was in a relationship where it was like the moment their eyes met, the moment they saw each other, uh, who I was dating and one of my friends, soon as, it was like lightning. And I was like, I felt it. <laughs> I knew what was coming down the pike, even though they both assured me they would never cheat. Yeah, oh, you're my best friend. Oh, I love you so much. I wouldn't do that to you. I think they may have held off for three weeks before I found out, you know, what was going on and got rid of both of them like that. So <laughs> I kind of feel I've been in Phil's position where, you know, when two people are feeling each other and that there's this sexual tension and chemistry there and and you try to fight it, you try to get in between them, but you know, when you ain't looking, they gonna do what they wanna do, and that's exactly what happened. And we know, Brady then had Chloe up in the bed, like, I don't wanna sleep on the floor, I don't wanna sleep in the chair, I wanna sleep in the bed with you, we won't have to do nothing. This is one time that I'm actually on Philip's side. But I, it's hard for me to be on Philip's side because he's so creepy. He, oh God, Lord. Kristen. Kristen is back in the mix and in, and in custody, which we know that's a place she likes to be. So Chris, she doesn't like to be. So she uh, turns to two people who kind of unexpectedly help her out. It puts two people together who you may not expect and they are drafted into the same mission to help Kristen bust out. This is when the information about Sarah is most likely going to come out uh, because we know from the, the fall preview that Xander finds out that Sarah's being held on an island. We also know that Rex is coming back, which will also confirm that him and Sarah were never together. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm expecting one of those people to help her escape jail will be Xander, maybe Rex too, or maybe even um, Sarah Mother. We'll see. Uh, Chabby and Gwen, Chad, Abigail, and Gwen. Uh, we felt it was time for Abigail to get on the facts about Gwen's miscarriage. Like, we really care. That story is so old. She went on her maternity leave. We don't care about that story no more. But anyway... Gwen's miscarriage and blow Gwen out the water, which of course damages Gwen's relationship to Jack. The one th now, we don't care about the damage in her her relationship with Jack for the simple fact that they took him off contract. So we don't we don't, we don't be seeing Jack anyway. Every now and then, Horton Light and whatnot. Uh, the one <clears throat> the one thing she has built is that. It's a real relationship she has with Xander. So when everything sort of starts falling apart for Gwen, she's going to cling to Xander as a life preserver. And then something happens that makes her realize that she could lose him. And that's just, it doesn't say, but it's Sarah. <laughs> so Gwen better get the pregnancy. <laughs> get to being pregnant. Please don't fake it. But it would be cool if Gwen actually got pregnant. And uh, because Sarah lost a baby, she'll maybe try to push Xander with Gwen before he inevitably gets back with Sarah. We know how these things go. Kate and Roman, two characters you may care about, but I do not. I like Kate better when she's with, like, um, it's not Tony, the other brother. Can't remember his name right now. But uh, Andre. Andre. You know, when she was with him, I was into it. Even when she was with Jake, I was, I was, I was there. But um, I feel like if they put Roman and Kate together, they're just gonna be on the back burner somewhere. They ain't gonna have a storyline. They haven't cared about Roman in like ten years. I've been watching for like twelve years, and Roman has never been a main character since I've been watching. So, what it says is we have revisiting this relationship and taking steps to get them together. They are both invited to Abe and Paulina's wedding. So, the question is whether they should go together. Um, 
Or uh, is this going to be what helps them become a couple? Don't care. So that is the um, spoilers for Days of Our Lives. Um, November sweeps. We got a lot of great information. Uh, we know that Sarah information is on the way, which is the thing I'm most excited about, honestly, is that I need my Sarah back. Then I need my Sarah with Xander. Uh, maybe Gwen can screw EJ or something. I don't know. Um, but uh, I prefer Xander with Sarah. So, um, that is it. And I will see you in the next video and in the comment section.